Okay, everybody. Hopefully this is going to be semi in view. I'm going to be working on connecting up some things inside of here. Uh, so we'll be filming that a bit and I'll probably just end up editing a decent amount down as well. But uh, So I'm going to start connecting up things inside of here that you'll be able to hopefully see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my power and uh, into the power switch and the fuse and the light and all that. Well, the light will be the, the heaters, but all that kind of stuff. So first thing I'm going to have to do is um, connect my power to the bottom two of these. And then I will connect the output of those to the top two. Um, and then I will connect one of them to the fuse. The other one is just going to go straight to the other half of the main power transformer. So we'll start doing that right now. So. All right, so the other thing I did was I went in and connected, uh, I forgot to actually film this, but I just connected that up. So now I will have to find a place to anchor this that's convenient, but also um, somewhat out of, uh, out of the general way of this stuff. You do not want to mount these to, I found this out, to the transformers, because the transformers have the most weight and wiggle room and can wiggle loose. So it's better to mount them to something else. Um, I needed to get this guy out of the way. I will possibly, I'm going to be putting some of my grounds around here as well, but I also, one of the things you want as well is if this were to come loose, when it's pulling, you want this uh, uphill of it, if that makes sense, so that when this comes, if these snap off, the last thing to snap off will be the earth ground. Uh, so it has, increases the chance that even if you snap both of these guys off, the earth ground stays around. So I'm going to possibly try and put it somewhere about here. I'll get a drill and drill that hole, but I don't need to anchor it in right away. I'm more just trying to think that one through, but... So, all right, so that's there. Now, we'll, uh, I've got to figure out on this guy, if I can remember. Uh, as If I recall, the five volt of these yellow ones. So they will go over to the rectifier tube here. Uh, and I don't know, I think red was the, like the one that were used for the local tubes. And I think these black ones are the ones that will basically connect into, you know, one of them is going to go to the fuse and the other one is going to go to that end. But I'm going to double check on me. I have this and I'll hopefully kind of link this in. I found the actual schematic of this amp, original one, the Philco radio that I pulled it from with this power transformer. And it has that information for me. So. All right, looking at that one, it looks like red won't be needed. That's the seven volt for the local tubes. Uh, yellow, these two yellow ones go to the rectifier, as I said. Uh, the red ones are the seven volts. The blue ones are the, uh, was that the primary now? Oh, I've gone and forgot it. I've got it up on my computer. Let me go look again. Primary side. And white. Let's see, I don't know if I'll it. So black is the heaters, blue is the other one with the rectifier. So I think what they're calling as white is a kind of a dingyish colored one here somewhere. Yeah, that's white.